Hey guys, so I decided I would make a Weds video. Weds is the mana source. He briefly tried to come back about a year ago, almost on the dot. And he didn't come back. Uh, people didn't buy his BS anymore. So to give you a brief update, he essentially was as large as Tolarian Community College at the time. And he was essentially regarded very similar to Tolarian Community College. And then one day, he had an accident. Uh, he didn't have health insurance. He never had a job, very similar to Boogie2988. Um, I think Magic the Gathering certainly attracts a lot more of these individuals than any other game I'm familiar with. But the idea was actually kind of simple, was he was going to fundraise money, and you would pay for him to get healthy, and then he could produce more content. So as soon as that check cleared, he was out of air. He no longer wanted to produce content. He said, Ad adios, amigos, I'm gone. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, he did uh, that. I mean, basically, he knew that as soon as the money from GoFundMe cleared, he basically took over half a million dollars. Around half a million dollars was the final number, I believe. Uh, he left the country. <laughs> I am not kidding. He actually left the country. Supposedly, he has a wife in the UK. I'm not sure how that has happened. Uh, the situation has kind of played itself out. But I want to warn you about grifters and scammers because I think there's more and more of them. And whether or not uh, they fly a liberal flag and they believe in ponies and unicorns and rainbows and sunshine, uh, the grift is always the same, right? Give me money, give me money, give me money. I don't have a job. Like, it's really obvious to know. I mean, in my opinion, Magic the Gathering, we can split it off into two different groups of people. One group of people, they have a job. They're like me or you. Or I assume you guys have jobs. <laughs> I would I would hope so, to be honest with you. But, yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, we have jobs. We go to work. We pay our bills. We pay taxes. And that's our life. Then there is a second group of Magic players who I think the Mana Source was one of the first people to prove that people are suckers for a sad story. They are. Um, I believe the Mana Source's big fundraising happened before the whole Can I Have a Dollar from Toyer and Community College. And the fundraising that the Mana Source raised was quite substantial. Now, one thing you have to understand about the injury he sustained is he was told by a, his doctor, again, he didn't have health insurance, so he was paying his doctor a lot of money. Not that it was his money, right? It's, it was your money that you donated to him. It was all going to supposedly these medical bills. And all this money went to Wedge, and everyone was having a good time at the festival. And the first festival, nothing happened. It was fine. The second festival, Las Vegas, so he went to back-to-back. -back. He went to Star City Con, and then he went to Las Vegas GP, which is the lar largest uh, convention. No, SCG Con. Okay, that's the one with Tolarian Community College. And he then went to that one, and that's when his back broke or something like that. It was never actually, because he never showed receipts. It was never actually shown what the problem was. And because he didn't have insurance, they charged him a shit ton of money. A, he wasn't local, right? He was in Las Vegas, one of the most expensive places to be. And then B, he didn't have insurance, so they kind of milked him for a lot. But the way that this uh, emergency rooms work, and I have many emergency room clients, is that they give you a very high bill, they expect you to push back, and then you meet somewhere in the middle. So the very high bill he presented was not actually what he paid. Uh, anyone with common sense will tell you that's how it works, right? So typically, if you don't have insurance, you're the one trying to put push back, and they can discount it 30, 50, sometimes even 70%. Now, if you do have insurance, uh, part of the reason you have insurance is so they can push back against this and say, nope, we're not paying this, we're not paying that. So Wedge, as soon as he got the money, he miraculously recovered 
and then left the country. Uh, so he came back recently. And he came back recently, tried to produce some videos. The videos didn't quite, you know, he, he had left for three years, three, four years of not making any videos. And then suddenly he's back and he's asking for donations. And that's all he did on social media, ask for donations, ask for donations, ask for donations. And I do think that at the end of the day, a lot of the reason he left was he didn't get the donation. He couldn't, you know, you can fall for one sob story, but the dude literally ran away with the money to the UK. And it reminds me of the completionist, which I cover on my other channel. Uh, if you're into video games, you know him, Boogie2988. It seems like there is generally a lot of individuals who just simply don't ever want to work. I mean, I, I even said this, hey, there's no problem like get having a job that's a nine to five and you work really hard at it. You get promotions and you get bonuses and you get health insurance and you get, there's no problem in that. Uh, honestly, um, why is there, uh, why is there shame in that, right? There, there's no shame in having a decent job and working for a living. Um, that's my opinion at least. And that was kind of the idea at the time was, you know, two magic, two types of magic players. One type of magic player does not have a job and needs to rely on, quote, the community, always the community, the community, community, community. I mean, how many times can you say community, right? And when you say community, what you're really meaning is give me, <laughs> give me some effing money, you dumbasses. And I don't, I don't really believe there is a magic community. And I can prove it to you. After this event happened, the next time somebody was injured, they didn't get as much money. They simply did not. Um, people are not stupid. Okay. People, people may be stupid one time or two times, but people are not going to be stupid multiple times. You keep asking them for money. You keep asking them for money. You keep asking them for money. Eventually, they're going to get wise and say, you know what? What's wrong with you? Get a job. And I think what happened, the fish, the original reason he was moved out was uh, probably due to COVID or something. Like he left around that time period and it was because uh, no one had money to donate to him at that time. Now, if he had waited for stimulus checks, he could have jumped on the Meadow Zoo bandwagon and got tons of donations. Nonetheless, uh, here we are with uh, this video and he's gone for good. I really don't expect him to ever come back. He's definitely a negative, right? A negative on the magic community. Uh, you guys don't need to donate to me. You guys don't need to donate to this guy. Um, he's got plenty of money. He's got that Patreon money, right? He's got that GoFundMe money. He's got that Kickstarter money. Uh, it is very appalling to me how much uh, people donate. I mean, but... He couldn't stay. You know why he couldn't stay? Because no one cared. Anyway, bye guys.